the effort. Listen very carefully to me, for I have something very important that I must tell you now. Five of you will be picked to learn the Shaolin martial arts. They will be taught by Master Kwok here, because there is no better teacher than he in the martial world. To the five who are chosen, I wish them a long life. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, I got some news, brother! Hmm. The disciples at Damora have started their training. What do we do? Before they finish training, I must get the four books. We must plan. When the Abbot and Kwok are not in, I must steal the Kung Fu books. I will help you, my brother. No matter how difficult it becomes, I will always help you. Good. <laughs> Kong Wa, where is he? Master, he had something urgent to attend to. Hmm, congratulations. To all of you on being chosen. This is your first lesson, so you must listen carefully to what I have to say. What I'm about to teach you is Wu Fat Kung Fu, hundreds of years old and originally developed by masters in northern China. The most important thing is to remember that your physical power and your mind must come together. Only then will the skill and art blend and become as one. You'll gradually learn about yourself and others who are joining you. You'll also come to understand that your desires are useless in your new lives. Understand? Yes, yes master. master. The training will not be easy, but in the weeks and months to come, 
you'll find your skills and concentration will greatly increase. Yes, yes, yes master. master. At home? Yes, master. Is your sister still seeing Lokwa? I think so. Please forgive me, master. Mm. He must discipline himself. <laughs> Su Ching, in the future, I'll be the best student at Damur and the most powerful boxer there as well. I'm glad. Brother! Hmm? You two look really happy. I'm sorry I disturbed you. Don't worry about it. It's all right. Was Master Kwok looking for me this morning? Well, to tell you the truth, he was asking about you after he finished telling us about the Wu Fat Gong Fu. <sighs> Was he telling you about finding yourself, combining mind and body? Listen, don't be so smart. But let me tell you Whoa. something. Hmm? Don't tell me. You two are arguing with each other. <laughs> Shut up. Hmm? Who the hell do you think you guys are? Smart asses, huh? We're students from the Damore School. So you watch it. Oh, yeah? I'm Kam Fu's brother, Ling. And we've seen your lousy school's fighting contest. What'd you say? Would that be a challenge to fight? Listen, you're pretty smart, huh? Well, you won't be for long. You asshole. You gonna do something? Yeah. Get him! <laughs> 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 Who's next? You? Come on. You think you have the talent to fight me? You're not even worthy to be my servant. What? Enough of this! Oh, listen, don't waste your energy on these imbeciles! <laughs> Come on, let's go. That makes me mad. You shouldn't let those guys get away with insulting us like that, you know? I agree. what you have come for, and you should be ashamed. You have to earn the privilege of reading the four books of Kung Fu. What you desire, you do not always get. You must display your worthiness, Kong. I beg you, Master. I have studied at Dalmoor for ten years, and now I think I can beat Master Kwok. I beg you, give me the four books from which to study. Assist me and help me to fulfill all of my wishes. Enough of this! <sighs> Your words have displayed to me what you are, a very selfish student. You think of yourself and seek to have power all alone. 
No, Master. Not so. You must leave here at once. You are no longer welcome here. <gasps> Out of this place before someone finds out. No, it can't. What you have done is totally wrong. You don't understand. With these four books are the secrets to becoming the best Kung Fu master anywhere. No one could challenge me. Will you come with me? Come on, you must come with me. You're the one student that Master Quark loves best. It would really break his heart. Please return them. I can't now. You must come with me right away, please. Right away. Come on, let's go. Please, you come. Master. The abbot at Damore has been killed. My rival Quark has disappeared. I'm finally free. I can now do as I wish without interference. Tell the brother. But what on earth are we going to do with all those students there at the school? <laughs> those fucking students. Like the wings of the eagle, we will fly in there and show them who's boss. Brother, we will tease them for a while before we take over. Got it? Yes. Pretty soon, we will be rid of all our rivals. Listen, gentlemen. We are presently facing a crisis. We understand. Our teacher, the abbot, has been killed and Master Quark has disappeared somewhere. We don't know where to find him at all. Listen, we must be very careful. Our enemies will certainly try to take advantage of our weakness and try to take over the school, I'm sure. That's, That's right. right. Huh. Good. But I have heard that Wong Lung's opinion is different. If we are of the same opinion, he will surely agree with us. Maybe. But you must remember, he's very strong-willed and won't easily change his mind. Okay. I will go and find Kim Fu and try to negotiate with him peacefully. Are we going to try to persuade Wong Lung first? Yes. We must do that. Right. Uh. What do you want? We want you to cooperate with us. We know you're going to see Wang Long. But that doesn't matter. It's none of your business anyway. It's not up to you whether we make a deal or not, is it? Huh? <laughs> of course it is. Because maybe we can make a deal, huh? We know the tricks you guys play. We'll never, ever make deals with the likes of you. Forget it then. <laughs> Sooner or later, you're gonna change your minds. The sooner the better. That's it. You know what's good for you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
I have a message for your brother. Tell him to think it over. Okay, I will. But you're gonna die for this. You're never gonna get away with it again. Hmm. We'll just have to wait and see who comes out of this whole mess alive, so don't you be too confident with us, Big Mouth. What do you got there, huh? You and your boys. You really think you're smart, don't you? Huh? Well, you're nothing without your Abbott and Quack. Absolutely nothing. Wait and see. We got a lot of time on our hands. How about you? Listen, we'll be waiting for you. Is that so? <laughs> For my unannounced visit is to give you some advice. Advise me? The abbot is dead. And I heard that Master Quark has recently disappeared. So who is left to back up your words of advice? If the abbot and Master Quark were still here, then I wouldn't have to waste my time coming here. <laughs> Perhaps you were going to say that Dalmore School has lost all its power and that you were here to give me some support. Now listen to me carefully. We lost two leaders, but that does not mean that we are weak. We are prepared to go to great lengths to defend ourselves, and don't think that we won't do it. But we wish to live on peaceful terms with you. <laughs> That's just what I want to hear. We will live in peace, but under my rules, do you hear me? Don't step out of line or else. Kambu. You really think we'll submit to you? No one here can stop me from fulfilling my ambitions, not even the likes of you. <laughs> what do you think? You still don't think I can take the position as that shitmaster quack of yours? As the best martial arts fighter in the region? <laughs> I'm tired of talking with you. Go back and tell the others what I've said. just wanted to find out how it went with my brother, that's all. I came here seeking peace. But your brother just doesn't want to understand. <laughs> if you really want peace, our school should depend on our Goldland Castle. You're just like your pig-headed brother. <laughs> you dare talk like that. <laughs> Hey! 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 Hey!
I'll tell you, since our master disappeared, relations have really gone from bad to worse with that Cam Fu guy. Mr. Lau's idea was to go to negotiate with Cam Fu directly. That's a lot of bullshit. The Fu brothers are just out to grab as much power as possible. And we're first on their list. Wong, we're beat. We don't stand a chance against them. What we should do is practice right now. If we attain spiritual perfection, they can be beat. I know they can. He's right, you know. It's exactly what the master would want us to do. Well, I too agree. But our present situation isn't one in which we can go on the offensive. We must wait until the moment when we are forced to take action. Ah Wong, do you remember what the master had to say to us when he gave us the four books? That we must each have one to build the schools. Send this immediately. Uh -oh. We need your guidance and your leadership at Damor. You have punished yourself enough. You must now come back to us. It was Kong who killed our beloved abbot and stole the four books of Kung Fu. I must punish myself for these actions. And not until I feel the death has been fully vindicated shall I untie myself. You can't say that. If what you say is true, then all four of us will go up there with you. No, don't do that. What I'm doing today, I've chosen to do myself. I do not want you or anyone else to share in this burden that I've put upon myself. Nor do I seek sympathy, nor force Kong to reflect on the evil deeds that he's done. Yes, yes Master. Master. I will give the four books of Kung Fu to each of you separately and hope that you can establish the schools in different places in the name of Dharma to carry on the rest of our students for studying man, the universe, and martial arts. Yes, yes master. master. Take the books now. <laughs> You must remember, I was there myself. He said each of us was to have a book. Awang, you oppose the master's will and are keeping the books for yourself. You misunderstand me. I've always wanted to do what's best for Damor. That's why I keep the book, so none are lost. You're, you're Wrong. Each of us must have a book so that we can all learn. Then we can stand united together. If we have a good leader to begin with, and we're already united, and the Damor school will never be destroyed. If you still insist on this, we will leave. We hope you'll change your mind. You just don't understand. You see what I mean? I knew he wouldn't change. I know, but we can't fight him. So what'll we do then? We can see how angry you are. If Wong's our leader, what will we do? We'll have to try and change his mind, that's all. What do you guys want then? Nothing much. We heard that the three of you wanted to join us. My brother here welcomes you. Like shit! Stand aside. Yeah! <laughs> 
Change my mind? Wang Lung, listen to us for a minute, will you? Now, we've tried the peaceful method up to this point, and it hasn't worked, has it? Not yet. In fact, we can't do a damn thing here, just quarreling. Okay, then tell me. Will you divide the books or divide us? Wang Lung. Huh? Listen, Wang, seeing as we all share the same goal, I think we should go along with your idea for now, anyway. No, you should divide the books now. Yes, we must follow the master's instructions. Brother! Mm -hmm. Brother, times are difficult. Why do you continue to quarrel among yourselves? You should be ashamed of yourselves. Su Ching! You behave like little children. You're all jealous. You still struggle for fame and power, while Mr. Lao lies dead in the street. Listen to me. I'm getting sick of this nonsense. Su Ching. Look, I'm not doing this to get power for myself. I've already made a plan, but it'll have to wait. Tomorrow, we vote for a new leader. We'll see what happens. I hope all of you can find time to attend the meeting. Good day. I hope you can come also. Goodbye. Brother! Don't worry. The three of us will always stick together, all right? We'll see to it that the master's instructions are carried out. Of course. of the new owner? Not quite. I live here. You think you're tough. Your tongue is wicked, but you've no bite. Turn around and go home, will you? Before you get hurt. We'll give you a minute to get the hell out of here. So what? You don't scare me. In fact, you and all your men make me sick. So just shut up. What do you think of that? You don't even know what it is what you say. Like a madman. But if you want, I'll... <laughs> You've done enough to harm my master's school. But you'll do no more. This is it. Hey! <laughs> 
of you. to thank everybody for their support over these years. Oh, yeah! uh, 
not to break with tradition. We will have ourselves our first fighting contest. I hope everyone strives to do their best. Enough speeches. Let the contest begin. We've come for revenge and to take our school back away from you. <laughs> That's fine. You too. Attend to our guest. <laughs> the truth, whether he will live or not. I understand. Contact Taishan. Tell him everything. The whole story of what's happened here. Please hurry. But it worries me. 
to leave you here all by yourself? It doesn't matter, but you must hurry. It won't take me long. This is none of your business. Get going on your way, monk. Please be patient. Please, sir. I do not know what the cause of your troubles are, but show mercy, please. You're nosy. I told you this is none of your business. <laughs> oh, me. If you don't want any more trouble, then you better get out of here. Please, sir, show some mercy to that girl. Mercy? What do you mean by that? Everybody on Earth has a certain amount of shame. That's the foundation of sin. So one that reflects should himself be able to forgive the faults of other people. It really isn't that difficult to understand, my good friend. <laughs> His answer is very complicated, but I'll give you some very good advice. Just get out of here! Show some mercy. You're getting on my nerves! Mercy! <laughs> expected this to happen. Please be patient. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, me too. Ah, Wong. You should be inside. You need the rest. Please, sir. I must thank you for everything, especially my life. You're leaving here so soon? Yes. I have many things to take care of and many scores to settle. Are you sure you're well enough to travel? It hasn't been long since those men brought you here thinking you are dead. Thanks for your concern, but I must leave immediately before my enemies read from those books, for then it will be much too late. Young man, You're lacking power and you haven't got the strength. How can you possibly hope to defeat your enemy and all his followers? Believe me, I will find a way. And when I do, I'll gain rightful revenge for the death of my friends. Goodbye, sir. And Wong! Hmm? Hmm. Master Quark! 
Master, are you here to help me? Yes, although I left all of you temporarily, I was never far away, for the school was always in my heart. Master, I have greatly displeased you. I have not been able to keep the school together as you wished. However, I'll make it up. I promise you, on my own death, if it's the last thing I do, I'm sorry, Master. Don't be sorry. You did the best that you could. The both of us together will overcome the enemy. Yes, we'll overcome him. Mm. Oh, you get there. We'll have to do it alone. Did you know Kong Lee has been in my care since you last saw me? He was no longer the man he once was. He suffered. The crime he committed was and is unforgivable. But times change. I understand. I thought that I would never be able to forgive him for murdering the abbot. But if he had truly redeemed himself... He did. He truly is a changed man. You would have been able to judge for yourself. But now he lies in peace over there in that grave. It was sad. One day by the river he did it. What? He was truly suffering. It was not long ago that Kong decided he could not face life and himself for all his evils. do every day to forgive me for my sins but I no longer have the strength to ease the heavy burden that has been placed upon my shoulders what I'm about to do will not undo the evil which I have done in this life but since I have not served you well I feel I must I didn't expect you. I didn't expect you, sir. Uh, Mr. Kwok, you saved my life. You have disobeyed the abbot's orders. Aren't you sorry? Enough. Do not criticize him any longer. He tried to do the best he could. That's all we can ask of him. And you, my nephew, you've broken your rules. You know you're not supposed to be fighting. Forgive me. It was necessary for me to do what I did. Xu Qing was in trouble. I know very well. But there are other ways to fight your adversaries without raising your hands. I understand, Uncle. Now listen closely. I want you to accompany Wang and Su Qing back to Damo School. Or me, Let us go. But we must be careful to avoid those men you saw in the woods earlier on. Yes. and the monk. 
Haven't you caused enough problems around here without having to harm them as well? My brother was insulted by the monk and your sister. I want them now, do you hear me? You've got no heart, have you? Now you want to pick on a religious monk and a young girl as well, you filthy swine. How dare you? If you don't tell us where they are, we'll find them. No! I... <laughs> Okay then, if you're really smart, you'll tell us where the both of them are hiding and we will spare you your life. Even if I knew where they were, I wouldn't tell you. Uh, smart ass. Uh, they must be around somewhere. Organize a search party. Yes. this idol. Hmm. I'll question these two monks. Hey, you. Do either of you know Master Quark? Yes, we, we know him. him. Good, then. Where can I find him? If you tell me, I'll give you back the idol Buddha statue. When you're ready to speak, you let me know. news to tell you. The Pooh brothers were here. And they were? Good. Now then, release it. Yes. Easy to get something wrong when you don't concentrate on the task. Now watch my hand. Ah. Understand? Yes, sir. You see, you must practice concentration and control. One of the books that was stolen by Camp Fu is named the Kung Fu Kick, which is like that of a thunderbolt, because of its speed and power, which is equal to that of a loud explosion. Because Kung Fu is an expert in kicking, he is sure to practice this form of art. To counter this, I will teach you a Kung Fu punch using your fist. I will study hard, Master, and soon the four books will be back where they belong. Of this I am sure. There is one thing that you must always remember, and that is to clear your mind so as to concentrate on the task at hand. Yes, I understand. Hmm. <laughs> Nice, 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 nice,
of your car? No, oh, I guess over a thousand. Wow, over a thousand? Really? Mm -hmm. Why have you carved so many idols in your life? I do this to atone my sins. Even one thousand is not enough. It's difficult for me to understand this. Why you do it? Please forgive me. Here you are. You should start to learn how to carve idols. Boxing is very tough, so you should do this to relax both your mind and your body. I understand. Master? A oh, woman? I've told you no women are allowed in here. I'm sorry if I've caused you to be upset, but my brother has just been killed. I feel that I'm the one to blame. Is it possible for Su Ching to remain here with us in the temple? I'm sure she won't be any trouble. Master, I beg of you to find room for her. We cannot leave her all alone. Please understand that all of this has been very hard on her. We must do something for her. May she stay. She can stay. Thank you, Master. Su Ching, I can understand how you must feel about me. But my only hope now is that you can see it to forgive me. Come down. Did you also say that the Fu brothers have taken the idol of the Buddha? Yes. He also insisted on seeing both of you and the girl. We'll do this. Write a warning to them. Yes.
are you, huh? Take off your mask. Hmm. Huh? Master! <laughs> I just wanted to test your progress in Kung Fu, that's all. Please forgive me. I've told you before that your mind must be at peace. Otherwise, your Kung Fu will not improve. Try then to keep on concentrating for better results. Yes. to apologize for all the trouble. Do you know something? Many people have been killed because of your ambitions. Are you satisfied? That's not true. You don't understand, do you? I loved all those people who were killed. How can you say that? They all died because you wanted to keep the four books for yourself. You want forgiveness? I kept those four Kung Fu books so they wouldn't get lost. You won't believe me, will you? Well, it doesn't make any difference now. Nothing will change. But we can change the future if we can beat Kam Fu. Master Quark is right. Only with the mind and body as one can you be strong. But I believe that you don't have what it takes to do the job. You may think so. Well, let me tell you something. I don't care if you don't lend me your support. But I'll get those books back, even if it kills me. I know how you must feel losing your brother, but now we should care for each other. We're the only three left. Please understand. Su Ching, listen. Pretty soon, when all the fighting is over and things are settled again, I'll make it up to you. I promise. idol from the temple and has been terrorizing the people there. Who did you hear it from? The man who sells medicine in the village. I'm going to go and stop him. Wait! Wong, you must tell Master you're leaving. Su Ching, I've already caused harm to enough people without hurting him too. But you... Kam Fu must be punished. Master Kwok is not here. This is my chance to leave quietly. Don't worry. Kempu is terrorizing people again. Please let me go. I beg of you. Stand up. I've been paying careful attention to your progress. Well, you have improved. Follow me. Here's a 
good. Put the water from the falls into it. Hmm? Huh? What do you mean by that? Well, can you or can't you? I don't think I can. Why not? Because the guard is too small. Ah. It's too small, huh? <laughs> See, you must dissolve yourself before you can exist in the world. Yes, Master. Excuse me, sir. Hmm? Uh, greetings. What's the problem here? Sir, I'm looking for the Golden Buddha. <laughs> I'll give it to you if you bring Master Quok back here. No one knows where he is. He disappeared a long time ago. Please give us back the Golden Idol, otherwise I'm afraid there'll be trouble. You think so, huh? Where's Quark hiding? I don't know. You better tell me, Baldy. Where is he? Omitaba. Are you ready to tell me now? Omitaba. <laughs> Buddha be with me. Keep an eye on the temple. We have to find out where Master Quok is hiding. Do you understand me? Yes, yes sir. sir. Master. Who is that? Master. Brother Taishan went to retrieve the Golden Buddha. But Kung Fu killed him. Uh, what? Master, Kung Fu becomes more powerful and violent each day. No one can stop him, and everyone at the temple is living in constant worry and fear. Master, we cannot wait any longer. Now is the time. We must act. Perhaps maybe I should look into things, not act too hastily. Otherwise, we may fail. You just be patient. Your time will come when you can do away with the enemy. Okay, stay here. Yes, sir. The 
Let us pray that Master may succeed in his mission. Yes. Hmm, right. Good work. We must let everyone know as soon as possible who the leader is around here. Follow my orders. Here. Greetings. Excuse me. What are you doing here? This is an emergency. I have to see the master. Hmm? Guards, get the beggar and escort him out of here. <laughs> oh. Everyone has his own wish. It doesn't matter who they are, man, woman, rich or poor. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? I'm just a beggar. I ask you to grant me a wish, and that's to live in peace by myself. Tell me, beggar, is there someone denying you that peace? Yes, it's you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who are you, then? You can give up your search for me. I'm here to bring peace to the land and to restore order, but I've got to get rid of you first and your filthy gang so that the killing can be stopped and the people can live in peace. <laughs> your days as a leader are over now. We control the land now and you'll do as I say. No one has the power to stop us. We'll see. I'll give you one last chance to surrender yourself. If you don't, then that'll be the end of you. And I promise I won't fail this time. I hear your words, but they are empty and hollow. You no longer have any power. You'll see. Who's the new master around here giving all the orders?
<laughs> we'll get them all.
Uh-uh. <laughs>